Hi guys, it's Rain, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 124 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, as we are sent it, let's just dive right in. So the joint probability density function for x and y is here. And they're asked, asking you to find the variance of y given that x is greater than 3 and y is greater than 3. But, but the thing is, we do know that this is indeed an independent variable or independent function, x and y are independent, and that's because it forms a square, and that is a good sign that's going to be independent. And also, we know that for independent functions, f of x, y is equal to f of x, the marginal um, function of x times the marginal function of y. If we set f of x equal to 1 e to the negative x and f of y equal to 2 e to the negative 2 y. We know that this is indeed when you multiply the f of x times f of y, you do indeed get 2 e to the negative x minus 2 y, which is indeed equal to the f of x y. So we know that these are independent variables or x and y are independent variables. So knowing that, we can actually disregard that x is greater than 3 because the value of y does not depend on x. So we can say, rephrase this and say the variance of y given y is greater than 3. But recall that there is indeed a memoryless property about the exponential functions. So again, if you don't remember, continuous functions, within continuous functions, exponential is the only one that has memoryless. Within um, discrete functions, geometric is the only one that has memory list. But that means the value be given whatever is happening before is kind of relevant. So this is actually equal to the variance of y plus 3. We still have to take into the 3 here. But the thing is, when you um, calculate variance, you're actually looking at the range, right? Like the disparity in um, data. So it doesn't really matter if, whether it starts here or whether it starts here. Adding and subtracting by a constant does not make it a difference. So this is essentially equal to the variance of y. Because adding and subtracting constant does not make it any difference at all. And then so like when you're asked to find the variance of y, this becomes a really simple problem. And especially because we know what f of y is. We know f of y is equal to 2e to the negative 2y. Right? Which is it exactly this has the same form as 1 over lambda e to the negative t over lambda. Where lambda is equal to 1 half. Do you agree? So then like this, the variance of y is simply just going to be um, lambda squared because we know for exponential functions, the variance is just equal to lambda squared. So taking that, it's going to be 1 half squared, which is equal to 1 over 4th, which is equal to 0.25, which is our answer A. If you, got, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!